Hello, welcome to MIDISequencing.com's first tutorial on how to automatically humanize MIDI. So what we're going to do is take uh, some MIDI regions that are quantized to the grid with the same velocities. They sound very computery and turn them into a more human-like sound. So we're going to take MIDI that sounds like this. And turn it into something that sounds like this. Cool. So two things that are going to be changed are the velocities and the position of the notes, which is where they are in relation to the grid. Now if you double click, you can see the notes here are exactly on the grid, which sounds computery. You can also see, we're going to go to View, MIDI Draw, Note Velocity. All the velocities are the same. This is also very unmusical. So this humanized version has an emphasis on the one in the and of two. And. One and two. And. So we're going to grab both of these regions. We're going to grab the ones and the ands of twos. There's no really fast way to do that if you need to grab specific notes. Go to Function, Transform, Random Velocity. These are our emphasized notes, so we're going to want them... 127 is the highest in MIDI. We're going to go 100 to 87. And this will give it a range of 13 random velocities that can be at. So you see how they all change there? Let's actually turn it up just a bit. Let's go to 105, 108, do 10 point range. All right, now let's listen to that. Now we're going to want to turn the other ones down too, but instead of, you know, deselecting and selecting all of these, we're going to, while we still have these notes selected, use the aren't selected. I'm going to use my key command to go down a couple octaves where there's no MIDI down here, which is option shift down arrow for me. I have different key commands, so just figure out whatever your octave displacing MIDI feature is. Now we can just grab all of these in one go. Let's turn these down to have a random value between 75, 76, and... Let's do like 62. And you just have to experiment here. And we can grab all this stuff. And bring it back up. Now let's listen. All right. Velocity-wise, it's sounding a bit better. Automatically, they're all random within a range, so they're not hitting the same exact thing. It's a bit more human sounding. Now what we want to do is get them off the grid. So we need to grab all of the notes, Command A. Same deal, Function, MIDI Transform, and Humanize. Humanize has three ways it affects the MIDI. The position, which is our timing, the velocity, and the note length. Uh, we already changed our velocity, so let's set that to zero. We don't want to change that. Uh, note length, we don't really want to change. We could change, but these are staccato hits. Let's just keep them the same for now. And we're going to change up where it is in relationship to the grid. So I'm going to zoom in so you can watch how this changes. This has four parameters in it. It has this, which is a subdivision of your smallest grid um, value. 
Mine is set at 16th notes. If you're not seeing this, you can change how this looks by clicking this arrow and going to custom and it gives you more options. And that's 16th notes. This is double that, so eighth notes, and then double that, which is quarter notes. So we're going to go within 16th note range. Uh, we'll set the value to 10. It goes all the way up to 240, I think. So try 10. Just going to move it a little bit, or 11 here. See how it just changed it? Let's hear how that sounds. All right, I'm gonna undo it so you can see how it sounds when it's back on the grid. Now I actually kind of feel like that might be a little too much, so let's bring it down to seven. See how that sounds. Oops. see it's not exactly on the grid see how there's a little bit of space there if I undo it, it puts him back redo oh and you can see within the velocities too now a piano player will try and hit all the notes at the same time but they won't and this is why it sounds more human when they're not all having the exact same attack In this one we had a crescendo that goes and a decrescendo at the end. So to do that, copy the regions, which is option drag, and that's like with pretty much every program, you know, Photoshop, anything you use. Option dragging pretty much will copy whatever you're clicking. All right. Now to do a crescendo, we want the pencil tool. If you hold down command, that gives you whatever tool is in this box. So we're going to, you need to click on one region at a time. See that adds a crescendo. But the relationship is still the same. It doesn't make them all follow this line. It's It still keeps the velocities different. So do that on the piano track too. You have to do each one individually, each region. Now here, since we're starting at a, you know, a higher velocity because we're crescendoing up into it, I'm going to turn up the velocities. And then we're going to decrescendo. Same here, got them all selected, turn it up, and D crescendo. Let's hear how it sounds. It's growing. It's getting louder. And there you go. So you can use these to do a lot of different things. Uh, if you want to go, let's say you want to go exactly back to how you had it before, select them all, functions, MIDI transform, fix velocity, set them all, boom. And then to get it back on the grid, that's quantize, eighth notes, and now we're back to where we were. And then if we undo those two steps, And see how it changed that's it thank you for checking out the tutorial please check back at midi sequencing.com for more how to's articles tutorials reviews on virtual instruments various gear uh, please like and subscribe for more peace